Christchurch businessman Kevin Hickman took small steps into racehorse ownership over a decade ago. He is now taking giant strides in the New Zealand breeding industry. The proud owner of boutique broodmare stud Valachi Downs describes the challenge of breeding thoroughbreds as the unsolvable puzzle. But last season, a couple of those pieces fell into place when Hickman bred and raced Group 1 New Zealand derby winner, Silent Achiever. The Phillies in front, Silent Achiever, a link clear from the Rock and Pop and Carrick and then Chikarina, she's too good, she's a beauty! And that's the line, she won the derby! Hickman's venture into breeding began when he bought and developed his scenic Waikato property, Valachi Downs. He purchased broodmares from throughout Europe and Australasia, including Zabil Mare winning Spree, who would eventually produce Group 1 winner, Silent Achiever. Picked her up at a, a dispersal sale. I think paid about twelve thousand dollars for her, which was amazing. And uh, and it's sort of really a theoretical purchase. Um, uh, Zabil mares, I think, are always going to be gold in the foreseeable future. And she was has a fantastic tail line. She's from La Troyne, Black Helen, one of the the great um, um, bottom lines in, in the stud book, really. And so. Uh, I thought we, we stole her and uh, I think the first foal was um, another chance taken and he's won and he uh, placed third in the group two and the next one was Silent Achiever so uh, we sort of struck a wee bit of gold there. The offspring of winning spree is described by Hickman as fairly ordinary. He chooses not to get caught up in physical type but rather focusing his attention on the genetics involved in breeding. This theory led to the mating of winning spree to Waikato stud sire O'Reilly. Well, I think with Seville, um, he gives a lot of guts and, and a lot of stamina to, to, uh, to horses. And you, you need a wee bit of sharpness there often, I think, to, to get the potential. So O'Reilly was a, a really good candidate, I think. Um, O'Reilly's um, great to breed to because he has female lines in the Arco and his ruler, which frees up all your northern dancer sort of um, male what we call roadblocks sometimes, so uh, he's always good. He had a lot of speed himself, but he he, he puts some um, stamina into his prodigy as well. Um, but uh, I thought that was a, an idle cross. It's very well sex balanced, theoretically. I'm a bit of a theorist. It uh, it um, it came, comes across very very well. It's nice, a really nice mating, and there's three um, lines of knight's knight's daughter in the in the cross as well. There's two and Zabil's pedigree in one and, and uh, O'Reilly, so that's always interesting to me. I'm always very interested in the, in the mere side. The result of the mating was Silent Achiever. The filly was retained by Hickman and sent to Cambridge trainer Roger James. She wasn't a, a stunning type, but she was a, she was a nice horse and uh, we didn't take too much notice of, about her. We thought that she would be a good staying type. We felt that Roger was uh, the right person for her. He's, he's patient and uh, done very well with uh, the staying, staying horses. So we sent her, sent her off there and uh, we didn't hear a lot for quite a while, except for just the, the normal wee things. And then one day Roger rang up and said, I think you're going to have, you've got a very, very nice horse here. And one day she's going to be something special maybe. And at that stage I'd been sort of, I'd phoned him and had mentioned what about any chance would she would she make the you know the thousand guineas, which is a race I'd like to win, sort of thing. So he put me off, and uh, and then about um, three months later, he rang up and he says, oh, "I think she's arrived now." So and that was um, probably in November, and she raced, I think, in in December was her first race. Wider out, sing for the sun, silent achiever down the outside, but at the 100 metres it's a two horse war, Albert and Prince still in front, Albert and Prince is going to win it, second at the line, oh flashing at the late silent achiever on the outside, that's in a photo. That sort of told us that we had something special because she's her usual sort of dropping out the back and leaving herself about 100 and something metres to pick up on the straight and she, she very nearly did it in that first race and 
and we knew we had something for a real turn of foot then. And it just sort of got better, really. Two lengths away, Sana de Chiva is starting to stretch out down the outside. Shuka in front of the 150. Coming after it here, Sana de Chiva strongly now. Shuka, Sana de Chiva in behind them, Lady Cravan, Sana de Chiva. The filly's got the lead short of the line and she'll win the championship stakes. Sacred Knight, the leader. Here comes Ocean Park following him through a Sana de Chiva. In behind these, then we've got, guess what? Ocean Park made the lead. Sana de Chiva about to come off his back now. Ocean Park and Silent Achiever, they drew clear. I reckon the Philly's got him. She has. Silent Achiever, brilliant win. Here comes Silent Achiever down the outside. Carrick's coming after them with Shuka, then Travolta. Through on the inside, Mr. Shears and Tilda. Silent Achiever, she made the lead at the 200 metres, a length and a half clear from Carrick. Shuka's winding up late, and then Travolta. But Silent Achiever, here's your favourite. Here's your favourite for the Telecom New Zealand Derby next month. And she's a beauty. Silent Achiever. Here's Silent Achiever. And look at Carrick right down the outside. Now getting out Zarella. Carrick raised up. Silent Achiever. She's got a fight on her hand. Rockton Pop is running on there to Carita. The Phillies in front. Silent Achiever. A link clear from the Rockton Pop and Carrick. And then to Carita. She's too good. She's a beauty. And that's the lie. She won the derby. I think they dream about um, uh, winning a derby. I've, I've travelled over England for about the last seven years to watch the derby over there in, in the Oaks. and. Uh, certainly sort of races that you'd like to win, but um, it's not easy and you have to have a bit of luck as well, or a fair bit of luck really. I get as much thrill out of breeding a horse as I do, you know, um, racing it. Uh, I'd like to build families and uh, I think um, this is an ideal opportunity to try and build around that family and uh, uh, if we can keep um, breeding and expanding it, I think we've got that family back again to a certain degree with Silent Shiva, so uh, it's up to us now to try to maintain the rage a wee bit.